Greetings. Today's journey takes us to the United Kingdom, a nation known for its strong alliance with the United States in various sectors. We'll delve into the agricultural and livestock farming methods employed by the local farmers. Join us as we explore these processes in depth. But consider subscribing and press the notification bell to be notified. As per 2021 data, the UK is home to approximately 216,000 active farms, spread across its landscape. These farms utilize around 23.2 million acres of land, which constitutes about 71% of the UK's total land area. Interestingly, the distribution of farms varies across the country. The eastern region primarily houses crop farms, focusing on wheat, barley, and fruit and vegetable production. On the other hand, the western region is known for its livestock farms. This geographical distribution plays a significant role in the agricultural dynamics of the UK. Moreover, this region is well known for its thriving livestock farming, with numerous farms engaged in the rearing of cattle, pigs, sheep, and poultry. Presently, we are at a sheep farm situated in Nottinghamshire County, in the eastern part of England, which is home to over 400 mature sheep. Each morning, hundreds of these sheep are guided to the grasslands at the base of the hill for free-range feeding. In the UK, there are over 400 sheep farms of varying sizes, with a total of 17.3 million sheep being reared nationwide. Besides the large-scale sheep farms with extensive grazing lands, there are also millions of sheep housed in barns in the UK, which are only allowed outside when they are ready for sale. We are now at a cattle market located in North Yorkshire County. Here, over 7,000 sheep aged between 10 to 12 months will be put up for auction. Once the auction concludes, thousands of these sheep will be transported to slaughterhouses. Additionally, a significant number of them will be relocated to other farms to begin a new phase of life. This is the scene at a lamb processing plant. On average, between 11 to 12 million sheep are slaughtered annually in the UK, resulting in an annual lamb production of approximately 670 million pounds, which is five times the amount of lamb produced in the United States. Farewell, sheep farms. We're heading to an American-style cattle ranch in Norfolk County, located in the eastern part of the UK, where thousands of cattle are reared. This particular farm houses approximately 400 cattle in barns, each of which spans about an acre and can accommodate 55 to 65 animals. Instead of grazing in pastures, these cattle are fed by workers daily. Presently, the UK is home to around 560 cattle farms of varying sizes, a number significantly smaller than the 700,000 cattle farms in the United States. Most of these UK farms manage between 200 to 400 cattle and calves. Additionally, there are 17 large-scale cattle farms in the UK, each supplying about 6,000 beef cattle to the market annually. We're also visiting another cattle ranch in Wales, which is home to over 600 beef cattle. Interestingly, all the cows here are purchased from cattle markets in the eastern UK when they are 4 to 5 months old. These cows are fed fresh grass daily, a routine that continues for about 30 months before they are sent to beef processing plants. Similar to the practice in the United States, millions of cattle in the UK are also sent to cattle markets for auction when they are ready for sale. Each year, approximately 2.6 million cattle are slaughtered in the UK, resulting in an average annual beef production of about 885,000 tons. In the UK, approximately 70% of the forage used is comprised of hay and silage, making pastures for cattle a significant aspect of the country's agriculture. It's estimated that each year, the UK produces 15.2 billion pounds of hay for cattle ranches, and about 11 billion pounds of silage for the livestock industry. After being baled, thousands of hay bales are moved to adjacent warehouses for storage, with each bale potentially earning farmers around $5 to $6. We're currently observing the harvest at a sweet corn farm in Devon County, located in southwest England. The harvest typically takes place from August to September across most sweet corn fields in the UK. Unlike the sweet corn farms in California or Florida in the United States, the majority of sweet corn in the UK is harvested mechanically. Manual harvesting of sweet corn is only practiced on small-scale, household-owned farms. In 2021, sweet corn production in the UK was approximately 3.7 million pounds. 
This production level is relatively modest when compared to the £2.7 billion produced annually by the United States. Next, we'll explore some barley fields in the UK to observe the harvesting process. The primary regions for barley cultivation in the UK are in the east, particularly in Yorkshire and eastern Scotland. As per statistics, by mid-2022, the UK will have utilized 1.97 million acres of agricultural land for barley production. In 2021, the UK produced approximately 15.6 billion pounds of barley, of which 1.8 billion pounds were exported, and the remainder was predominantly used in the brewing industry. Now, let's shift our focus to the US state of Alaska to understand its farming and livestock practices. When one thinks of Alaska, agriculture might not be the first thing that comes to mind, as it's often associated with snow-capped mountains and expansive glaciers. Despite being the largest state in the U.S. with 365 million acres, only about 883,000 acres are cultivated. In 2021, Alaska had 513 farms, primarily engaged in vegetable farming, cattle rearing, and raising reindeer, pigs, and goats. Additionally, farming and fishing are also prominent industries in this state. Most of the farms in Alaska are located in the northeast of Anchorage City. We're now visiting a bison farm located in Delta Junction, in the southeastern part of Alaska. Here, approximately 65 bison can be seen grazing in fenced pastures. At present, Alaska is home to about 915 bison, spread across 34 different farms. The majority of these bison are raised for meat and various recreational activities, such as hunting. Every morning, dozens of bison from this farm are led to the grasslands for free-range feeding. The vast grasslands are surrounded by a protective fence system, virtually eliminating the threat of predators. A fully grown bison typically weighs around 1,800 pounds, while females average around 960 pounds. Each bison consumes food equivalent to about 4% of their body weight daily. Annually, about 230 bison are slaughtered for meat in Alaska, while the nationwide figure exceeds 20,000. Next, we're heading to the cattle ranches in Alaska's Kenai Peninsula. Due to the cold weather, herds in Alaska typically spend up to three-quarters of the year indoors, venturing out to forage in the grasslands for only about 100 days annually. As per USDA statistics, each year sees the birth of about 6,800 calves in Alaska, maintaining the state's cattle population at around 25,000. Grass and hay serve as the primary forage for the herds here. During winter, fodder is scattered on the snow-covered ground, providing all-day sustenance for hundreds of cattle. The challenging environment in which they live enhances the quality of Alaskan beef, making it highly valued compared to beef from other regions in the United States. In addition to bison and cattle, musk oxen are also notable animals in Alaska. These creatures were once considered extinct in Alaska due to overhunting. However, by 1930, 34 musk oxen were transported to Alaska from Canada, and their population has since grown to over 5,000. We're now at a musk oxen farm in Fairbanks, which houses more than 60 musk oxen. Similar to cattle, musk oxen spend the majority of the year on the farm. During the warmer summer months, they are led by ranchers to fields and cliffs for free-range feeding. Essentially, the behavior of the musk oxen mirrors that of the bison in this state. On average, an adult male musk ox weighs between 800 and 900 pounds, while females weigh around 600 pounds. Farewell, Livestock Farms